Lots of first-time voters went to the polls at UNM. But if they waited until Election Day, they found some very long lines. And we'll show you one of our favorite post-Halloween New Mexico traditions. I'm Brianna Morphin. And I'm Ashley Martinez. All this and a bit more at UNM News. New Mexico and presumably the UNM campus went blue on election day as a youth vote helped sweep an emotional President Obama into his second term. For many UNM students like Lourdes Martinez, the day was emotionally charged as they have never voted before this election. I guess it was my first time voting and it was quite the experience. You don't really know what to expect when you go in and it was it was a proud moment for me, my first time voting, so it was, it was great. Yes, I early voted um, on my break from work. It was really easy, just went in, it took like 20 minutes, if that. So I, I would suggest definitely go early voting. <laughs> we know that early voting, particularly in New Mexico, increased in this election cycle. Producer Louis Edamati and Allison Alford report that many UNM students managed to avoid the long lines on election day. Over 100,000 more New Mexicans voted early this election compared to 2008. Professor of Political Science at UNM, Christopher Butler, believes early voters made up almost half of the people who voted this year. There is an increasing number of states and an increasing number of voters who have been engaging in early voting in the United States, uh, which started uh, around 1992. The last election was about 30 percent of votes uh, were cast through early voting. Uh, I heard anecdotally this morning that New Mexico might be as high as 55 percent early voting. So why exactly are people getting to the polls early? I didn't want to spend a long amount of time in line on the 6th for voting so I decided to vote early. I think it's really beneficial. Um, technically the only uh, way to get off work is the two-hour limit that the federal government allows you and so I've heard that that's not enough time in a lot of situations so I think it's really beneficial for people to vote early if they know they have to work or um, they're worried about not having enough time. Those who didn't vote early saw long lines and regretted not taking advantage of early voting. I thought I would see a smaller line today. It didn't happen. So it was a long line. About an hour and 35 minutes. Definitely wish I would have voted early. Professor Butler thinks more research needs to be done into the impact of early voting. It's not clear to me, given the trends of the last two elections, that there's been an increase in voter turnout overall, given early voting. So I think on the philosophical level of making voting more accessible, it's accomplishing that. Whether the greater accessibility leads to greater voter turnout, that's the question I, I don't know the answer to. Although more people are voting early, overall voter turnout remains unchanged, so it's unclear whether early voting is actually making a difference. This is Allison Alford reporting. Tattoo artist Anthony Lopez, who goes by the alias Spider Loco, saves, says tattooing saved his life. He began tattooing in prison and it put him on the right path after being released. Lopez tattoos at Hair Inc., a tattoo parlor and hair salon near Girard and Central. Producer Ryan McGinnis and reporter Chelsea Irvin have the story. Hair Inc. tattoo artist Anthony Lopez, a.k.a. Spider Loco, has been tattooing officially for three years, but says he began tattooing out of his home six years ago after being released from prison. I used to believe it saved my life. When I was younger, I fell and I went to prison when I was 19 years old. I had a full ride scholarship to play for UNM football, and I made some decisions in my life and I went away. And from there, I started drawing again. I had to make a decision. It was either come back out, do bad or take what I know and make it into something good. And that's when I found out about tattooing. Lopez and his friend and colleague Alex Martinez say they hope to make a name for themselves as tattoo artists and one day own their own tattoo shops. I know a lot of people know who I am and what I do and that I do a good job. But I mean, to get that good, I still got a long way to go. Martinez says the growing popularity of tattoos keeps Hair Inc.'s business going strong. Everybody wants tattoos. Even people that don't have tattoos, they want tattoos. And if they don't, if they're too scared to get the tattoos, eventually they're going to get the courage to get the tattoo. Lopez says his favorite part of tattooing is getting to know the people he tattoos. You got a lot of people that are crazy, you got a lot of people that are quiet, but it's the people that make this industry what it is. 
UNM student Isaac Doyle has 10 tattoos, some of which he got at Hair Inc. And he says getting tattooed becomes an addiction. It's the feeling you get when you get one. It's just you can't explain it unless you had one, I guess. Doyle says many of his tattoos represent important aspects of his life. Well, on the front, I started an octopus right here. And I got the sublime sun on the back. The sun, it's got a lot of things in that I like doing. It's just kind of all about me. The octopus, I'm all about water and I like to scuba dive. Lopez says his clients have a wide variety of reasons for getting tattooed, but for him, it's all about the art. It became more the love for the art and the strive to get to where I wanted to be today. This is Chelsea Irvin reporting. Day of the Dead, or Dia de los Muertos in Spanish, is an important tradition in Albuquerque. Reporter Jordan Unverzat and producer Samantha Amick were there. The 20th annual Muertos y Marigold Parade was held Sunday afternoon in Albuquerque's South Valley. Participants traveled down Isleta Boulevard with music, floats, dancing, and costumes to celebrate Dia de los Muertos, a Mexican holiday that celebrates the lives of friends and family that have passed. Parade monitor Mercedes Avila has seen the parade grow since she first started volunteering to help 15 years ago. We've had up to 5,000 people. It's been, it's been a little big, and it gets bigger every year. This year we weren't actually accepting any on-site um, registration. We usually allow that, but since our uh, parade is so big, we have over 80 floats, we chose not to do this year. For the past seven years, Tom Parker and his family have made a float for the parade. Each year, remembering his loved ones becomes more of a celebration than a mourning. The first year I did it, I lost my brother. I didn't know, you know what it was all about, but now I'm more celebration of life, of their lives, you remember the people that have passed on and how important it is. It's more of a remembrance of you know, the people that have passed on. Whether or not it's your 20th or your first time celebrating the Day of the Dead, the experience is special for all. Uh, this is my first day of attending the parade. I was in the parade with La Familia Carta. Uh, I love to see what's happening with this with the consciousness about the South Valley, which is a very special place. Um, and, wow, I mean, what could be more magnificent? <laughs> the holiday's trademark look is the skeleton effigies, also known as calaveras, that symbolize dead souls. Face painting is available on site and encourages both participants and spectators to join in on the celebration. I just love that everybody comes together and supports the community because the South Valley sort of has like a, um, a biased reputation and I just feel like it sort of brings people in and shows them that this is a great cultural place and just to like represent Albuquerque and just respect um, the tradition. The parade ends at the Westside Community Center where thousands gather to view local art and listen to live music. This is Jordan Umberzot reporting. Wow, that's some very festive makeup. Must have taken a lot of time, especially all those floats. It, looked, it was really well done. Yeah, it does. It looks like a lot of fun. Well, this is Ashley Martinez. And I'm Brianna Morphin. Thank you so much for joining us.